noise. Good morning, good afternoon, what time watchers. Hello, welcome to today's video. Um, so yeah, I've realized that on my YouTube channel, I haven't actually posted a video on here regarding my studio space. Um, my studio space, as you don't know, is currently five foot wide uh, by 14 foot long. So it really isn't a big space, but I've managed to utilize it the best I can to fit everything in it that I need for a full working studio. So here's a guided tour of exactly what I have in my studio. So without any further ado, you know what? Marvel titles. So we'll start from the outside of my studio, as you can see, I have lots of stickers on this place. Um, if we make our way through the door, as soon as you come in, as you can see on the right hand side here, I have so I have my retro PlayStation 2 of all PlayStation 2 and retro PlayStation 1 games. Uh, next to that I have a shelf with all my camera stuff, so these were all my lenses and my old cameras I kept. Uh, directly below that I have a shelf that's dedicated to my 32 hour livestream, which unfortunately no one, no one can actually watch anymore myself included because YouTube won't render it. Um, on the bottom shelf I have all my tripods and all my camera mounts and various other things that I need for that. We have the DJI Mavic drone with controller um, for when I do my aerial photography and of course not forgetting right in the front of the shop I have Gonzo, my beloved Muppet puppet. <laughs> on the wall opposite that I have my feature wall as I like to call it. As you can see here there's very various other various things ranging from old cameras to certain memorabilia including the guitar which again I can't really play but I occasionally do have a bit of a play around with it and then directly below that you can see my ever-growing neon wall I occasionally only have five neon wall neons on here but this will be expanding all the way across so this wall will be full of neons eventually then probably the newest addition to my uh, studio is my new chair. Moving on to the main desk itself. As you can see, I currently use a rose gold, let's face it, pink MacBook, which is a HMI plugged into my Dell monitor, which gives me multiple monitors, which makes it a lot easier to edit. And then obviously, I have a separate keyboard, so I don't have to reach out to the keyboard on the computer itself. And below the monitor, there you can see I have a 4 terabyte hard drive, this is one of many I have, um, a card reader for all different types of cards because my MacBook doesn't have anything like that built in, um, obviously a multiple USB port for all my USB features and then behind that you can see where the HDMI, HDMI USB and the power goes into the laptop and of course not forgetting Mini Me, <laughs> probably one of my favourite things in the entire studio. And um, where I sit, just to my left, I have a shelf of useful um, things that I occasionally use, um, including hair wax, obviously. And of course, not forgetting my very sturdy 4x2, <laughs> probably slightly over-engineered headphone stand. Directly above that, we have my figurines from Star Wars and Batman, and a robot, and of course, City hiding in the corner. So another feature that I really like about my studio is the sense that I can have stuff on the storage shelf in here that I want to use and keep every day to day. Um, but the nice thing about it, I actually built a false ceiling. And you can see, I forgot to mention, I have a projector up there which projects onto the wall behind me. So when I want to watch films or play games, I can on the big screen. Um, but going back to my desk, not only is it a desk, it also doubles up as a stand up. So as you can see, I'm currently standing on the desk now. Um, so behind these very bright studio lights that I currently have set up, so behind this black fabric here, you can see on top of the ceiling, I have plenty of storage space. So up here, I can have things like my scooter. Just see, I have all my hand tools like sandpaper and different things, little bits of paint, so I can touch up and do any sort of handiwork that I need to do in my studio. And it's a nice place to keep everything out of the studio space, out of sight out of mind. 
So that was a quick tour of my studio space um, and shows you guys how I can utilize such a small space into a full functioning studio. Really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do me a massive favor and hit the like button below. Leave me a comment below if you want to see any particular video that you want me to make for my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, please do me a huge favor and hit the subscribe button below. It'd be a massive help to me. Thank you very much. And um, until next time, it's time for me to say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>